two big Australian media companies, each with their own long and distinctive history, will now share a common future with a $4 billion merger of the Nine Network and Fairfax. There are certainly some doubters, especially Fairfax journalists. But the new structure brings together television, radio, print, online and streaming on demand. The Nine Entertainment Company's Hugh Marks will be in charge. Good evening and welcome to television. That was 62 years ago. Today, a new media landscape is being created. Well, I think between us, you know, we'll certainly be reaching more than half of Australia every day. This is good for the public because what quality journalism does is deliver a public good within a commercial model. Under the plan, Nine will merge with Fairfax Media, publisher of the Sydney Morning Herald, The Age and the Australian Financial Review. With it comes Macquarie Radio Network, owner of the top rating stations 2GB, 3AW, 4BC and 6PR. Also included, Fairfax's 60% share of the highly successful property website The Domain Group, as well as streaming video service Stan, a joint venture between Nine and Fairfax. It brings together some of the country's biggest names in news and entertainment. From Nine's fleet of talent, including Tracy Grimshaw, Carl and Georgie, Eddie Maguire, Scott Cam, Hamish and Andy, to Fairfax's key reporters, including the award-winning Kate McClamont, Adele Ferguson and underbelly writer John Sylvester, and radio heavyweights Alan Jones, Ray Hadley and Neil Mitchell. Of course everybody will be nervous about it, but the bottom line is that it's as a create a strong company that serves the viewers, the listeners and the readers well. We welcome uh, Channel 9. Happy to be part of the Channel 9 team, as I have been for about the last 25 years. Excuse me, get all those out of the way, only this one now. <laughs> and Kate McClymont, not afraid to give her view of the deal. I think our readers, I'm not sure that they actually care who owns us, as long as our journalism is good. Her boss holding talks with staff to announce his own redundancy. What I'm saying to our people is that this is good for you. This is good for the opportunities that you have for your future career development. This deal is not about cutting costs. This deal is about investing in the future. The key to today's deal is the network of websites and digital assets both companies own and the vast audiences they connect with, competing with Google and Facebook. Together they'll create Australia's largest integrated media player, an ASX top 100 company. Fairfax's history dates back to 1841, when John Fairfax bought the Sydney Morning Herald. Its heyday was in the first eight decades of the last century, when it dominated classified advertising, so-called rivers of gold. The Fairfax name will end, but the mastheads will remain. The new business will be called Nine. The old rivers of gold that used to be the print publications and now the digital rivers of gold, um, which, you know, again, we'll, we will be uh, back to. Hugh Marks will be CEO. Nine chairman and former treasurer Peter Costello will be chairman of the combined entity. Former PM Paul Keating, a long-time nemesis of Nine, is one who does not like the deal, labelling it an exceptionally bad development by a company with the ethics of an alley cat. The merger was made legally possible by last year's changes to media ownership rules. It's a very competitive media environment, as we all know, rapidly changing. There's also irony in this deal. For decades, Nine's former owner, Kerry Packer, coveted a merger with Fairfax. Under his watch, it never happened. And the Nine Network's finance editor, Ross Greenwood, joins me from his 2GB studio. Ross, what will it take from now to get this deal through? Well, the very first thing it will need is the support of the Fairfax shareholders. It doesn't actually need the nine shareholders to support it uh, because they don't need to go to a vote, but the Fairfax shareholders do. Today on the stock market, Fairfax shares jumped by 8%. At the same time, you also saw the Domain Group holding shares. They were up by 9%. Now, those Fairfax shares were at seven-year highs today, so the Fairfax shareholders, for the moment at least, should be happy. Now, providing there is no other deal around the place, you could imagine the only other obstacle could be the ACCC. The Competition Authority today indicated it will investigate to see whether this deal is anti-competitive. But as we've indicated with those changes to laws last year, the merger from a government point of view otherwise can go ahead. All right, Ross, thank you.